Welcome back to the Home Lab, and I've got a really interesting and unusual experiment to show you today, and one that you can try yourselves at home. What we're going to be looking at is solid solid mixing using water jets. time of year where Halloween comes around again and of course pumpkin carving. So we had great fun carving the pumpkins in the garden and I suggested that we keep the seeds and we could do something with Barry with the seeds uh, after Halloween had finished. So it was a case of give them a bit of a clean and it's then that I did something that really surprised me and it's an effect I've not seen before so it's that we're going to look at today. To clean the seeds, I grabbed this little colander off Barry's mud kitchen outside that he loves playing with and put the pumpkin seeds, which were also dirty and sticky, they just come out of the pumpkin, in the colander and then went and put them under the tap that's outside in the garden. And it was only then when I switched on the tap, I noticed something really strange happening. And uh, I'm going to show you that now um, using the kitchen tap but it's really weird. The pumpkin seeds obviously couldn't leave the colander and the water could, and as the water jet hit the middle, they seem to sort of stir up and form a really interesting stirring pattern. So let's have a closer look at that. So you can see from this close up under the kitchen tap that when I turn the jet on, the seeds begin to stir and form a sort of swirling pattern and I experimented with water jets that were stronger and weaker to see what effects I could get. And if you get it just in the middle, you get the best effect of all. But then I thought, I wonder if this has any use, and I've never seen this anywhere before in any other physics um, setup. I'm, I'm sure it must be used somewhere in industry, but I don't know where. So what I thought I'd do is see whether I could mix two different solids together to see how well they mixed using the water jet. To try and see the mixing visually, what I did is I took the normal pumpkin seeds, which is this sort of brownie colour, and I spent a while with a permanent pen colouring in some of the other pumpkin seeds in red, and I just mixed the two in the bowl like that, and then put that under the water jet. And it's interesting to see just how well they mixed. What I thought I'd do as well is see how something that was different from the pumpkin seeds would mix. And I had some of these plastic glow-in-the-dark chips, they don't glow very well, uh, lying around in the office. So I put those in and turned on the water jet. And you'll see it wasn't quite as effective, but still we got the solid-solid mixing with the fluid going straight through the colander. So what's happening here? Well, I haven't done lots of experiments with lots of different variables, but generally I feel that the pumpkin seeds are reasonably buoyant, they're slightly neutrally buoyant, and certainly they float when they're dry. And when the water jet goes in, the water jet can flow downwards and it then spreads out along the bottom of the colander to come out of all the little holes, taking the pumpkin seeds with it. The pumpkin seeds are carrying on and being forced down by other ones, and there may be the coander effect happening here. That's the one where um, you see um, an air jet blowing into the air and holding a beach ball in the air, so that uh, when the jet goes down, the uh, pumpkin seeds are actually taken with it. Um, it was interesting that the plastic chips didn't work so well. Um, these don't float and they're also a little bit more dense, they're a bit more heavy, not much more, um, and I think objects that uh, sink 
don't work quite as well because the pumpkin seeds are helped with their buoyancy to return to the surface. Anyway, it was a bit of fun and I enjoyed playing with it and uh, Barry was quite impressed too. Well, I've never seen this before and that doesn't mean to say it doesn't exist out there. But um, if it's a new effect to engineering and science, well, that's really interesting. Um, the effect where a water jet, that's a liquid, can uh, mix solids really, really well. And if it is a new effect to science, which it probably isn't, then we need a good name for it. What are we going to call it? FJ seeds or the, the pumpkin seed effect or something? Anyway. Why don't you have a go yourselves at home and see if you can get this to work and uh, put a suggestion in the comment for what name we'd like to give this effect and uh, say how you got on with your little experiment. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that rather silly but fun video and I'll be making another one very soon.